Hi, I'm Dan Rosenstark with MIDI Designer, and in this video I'm going to show you one of the new features for version 2.5 called movable panels. Uh, then we're going to see some related stuff. Um, so if I go into design mode here, and I've got a page, it's just got two controls on it, um, and I'm already in design mode because that's how I entered from the welcome screen. A lot of cases the welcome screen is beneficial in that way. Um, so now I'm just going to add a panel and we've had panels for a long time in MIDI Designer and now uh, there's been a fix for 2.5 so the panels show up as uh, the opposite of the background by default so they'll show up as dark if the background's light and light if the background is dark um, but the cool thing here in version 2.5 is that now I can move controls onto the panel. So I'm just going to take this distortion knob, move it onto the panel. The panel lights up white to show what's happening. Um, and I can even size it down on the panel, but I can't size it past the panel, which is uh, the idea if I need to move it out of the panel, I can. Um, same thing with the picker. Let's see if this will fit on here. Yeah, so the picker is going on too. And now the cool thing... Uh, is that I can move the panel around, right? Um, so this is a basic functionality for panels that we've needed for a while. Uh, it's hardly the end of the road for panels, but it's a start, gets us moving. Um, some other stuff that's relevant to panels that I want to show briefly for now. Um, like I said, later we're going to be adding uh, more stuff to panels. Um, but some of the really cool stuff uh, that we have in terms of design is, as a lot of people know, I can double tap on a page and I can do random color texture LED and you'll note the panel is always visible. Um, but now I can even go into custom for the page properties and here I can adjust for a custom page color and this color can have an alpha that's as low as very little so it barely covers up that unsaturated background all the way moving up to uh, one which is basically covering up the background and this is relevant to panels because I can do color tab only and what color tab only does is it means that the panel gets the color of the page tab and any other panels by default will get the color of the page tab and then the page is just showing this uh, plain background so that I can use other panels in other colors and design my page with a lot more accuracy in terms of color design than I could without this feature. So now um, I can even go back here and go to properties and do color texture LED random and you can see I'm going to move this panel up so you can kind of see what this looks like. I'm going to move this uh, image panel off. I'm just going to delete it. And I just take this panel here and I move it up here. And I'm going to add another panel too. And by default, this other panel is going to have the exact same characteristics. So it's going to match with the page. I actually wanted to size that. So let's grab the handle here. Here we go. So now as I change the, uh, the color texture LED, the whole page changes. And I've got all kinds of really cool stuff happening. Um, any of these textures might be interesting to design with. And, uh, you know, it gives you a pretty wide palette. And of course, you know, if you want to move back to standard black, uh, white, and gray with some simple LED colors, you're completely welcome to do that. Um, but this just gives you some more options uh, for those of you who uh, want to work with bolder colors. And uh, with the version 2.0 design, we're seeing, which is called Glow, we're seeing a lot more variation and a lot more interesting stuff. So um, we've seen page panels. They're movable. They're even movable from page to page. So here it goes to another page and it picks up completely different characteristics. Um, you can even do make similar on, pa on uh, panels. So I can do a make similar on this panel. And now I can drag this back to the original page here. There we go. So now I've got the same uh, panel or a similar panel on another page. Uh, in the future, we're going to allow for control copies of panels, not yet. 
And um, that's about it for movable panels in MIDI Designer 2.5. Uh, it's in beta testing right now, right before Thanksgiving 2016. And it should be out to you very soon to play with and design with. And uh, I'm excited to see where everybody goes with this. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out MIDI Designer. And uh, see you next time.